I'm really sick today, so, but you will be able to hear. My name is Kara Wills, and I want to talk about how people deal with heartache. I actually want to ask how people deal with heartache. How does one deal with heartache? Well, I could say a few things about that. And one of them would probably be something that no one else would believe. People think it's crazy. Easy for me to say, right? Yeah. But the easiest way one could deal with heartache is to forget. I mean, you never really forget an emotion unless you keep on remembering why it's there. If you're hurt because someone hurt you, you keep on thinking on how they hurt you, right? What they did, how they cheated on you, whatever, 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 whatever they did to you. And that keeps on hurting. You keep on self-inflicting pain onto yourself. How does one forget that? Okay? That's a hard one. I'm hurt. I really want to forget this person. I really don't want to think about this person. This person has caused me so much heartache. And people are telling me to forget about this person, but it's really hard for me to forget about this person. So how do I forget about this person? Step one. You stop thinking about the person. The more you think about it, the more it refreshes in its mind. It more, the more it stays there, it becomes a plot. And the more you think about it, the more it grows. Number two, you find something to keep you busy. Read a book. I'm not saying find another partner to give you to get you busy. No, find a good book. Evolve from that. Find. Write a song. Write a poem. Listen to a good song. Do something productive. Take hurt and turn it into something beautiful. Like, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Turn it into something tangible. If not tangible, knowledgeable. Let hurt give you wisdom. Let hurt give you something from it. Take something from it. Do something. Stop dwelling on the past. Stop thinking about how this person hurt you. Stop thinking about finding closure with this person. Stop thinking about what this person is doing, what this person is thinking about. Stop thinking about, just stop thinking too much. Stop worrying. Keep on living your life. Continue living as you would before you met that person. I know it's really hard. Because I'm just saying it, right? I haven't been through it. I'm not, I'm not feeling what you're feeling. How would I know what you're feeling? Even if I have been hurt, it's not as bad as you've been hurt, right? I know. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I really have the flu. But, I mean, it's all up to us individuals. If you really don't want to move on, then... If you really feel as if there's really something to cling on, then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he hurt you, but maybe he or she hurt you, but they really do feel something for you, something genuine. And it's all in a matter of due time. Maybe it'll take them five years to realize that they have to come back to you or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just human too, but maybe I am wrong. Or maybe that person is just living their life and doesn't really care about you. And you're sitting here thinking about why this person did this. Why you can't find another man because a previous man did this to you. Or why you can't find a good girl because the previous girl did that to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, how do you allow yourself to suffer like that? How do you allow yourself to, <clears throat> I'm really sorry, how do you allow yourself to, to hurt your mind like that? Shouldn't your mind be occupied by better thoughts? Shouldn't it have positive thoughts in it like, what am I doing this weekend? Wow, I'm an actor. Why don't I go for auditions this weekend? Wow, I'm a singer. Why don't I go to an open mic this weekend? That might be cool. Or, 
I'm a film director. Why don't I write a script this 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 weekend? So I don't know. It's just it's all different. It all comes differently, and we all deal with it in different ways. But with me, I would say with me, it's a matter of self-discipline. And the discipline of the mind and the heart. Do not think with your heart. This thing right here just beats, okay? It reacts to your thoughts. So if you think about something that hurts you, it's obviously going to drop. If you think about something that makes you happy, it's obviously going to feel happy. It's going to feel warm and soft. And if you think about something that causes resentment, you are gonna feel resentment. People, you guys need to understand that the heart does not think. The heart feels. The mind thinks. And we allow ourselves to think about certain things. Just like when you're in love, right? You think about that person all the time. And how does that make you feel? Exactly. And when you're hurt, you think about that situation all the time. And how does that make you feel? Exactly. So what about when you're hurt and you think about that open mic that you could go to on that Saturday or Friday night? How does that make you feel? You look forward to it, right? So why Dwell on pain when you can take pain and turn it into something so incredible. Something, turn pain into adventure. I know it sounds strange, but turn pain into something that makes you evolve as a person. That makes you, that makes you better. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> allow pain to make you. To make you do things you've never done before. To make you want to conquer. Allow that to, to make you feel like that. Because if you're going to dwell on negativity, you are going to be a negative person. And if you are going to dwell on bad things, bad thoughts, you are going to be a bad person to other people. Because that's what you felt. And that, that's what makes you feel bitter. That's what makes you want to make other people feel like that. Because you're so bitter. And you don't feel as if other people deserve to be happy. Because you are so bitter. All I'm saying is. Love yourself. Understand your type of being. Understand. Don't ask why things happen. But try to understand why things may have happened that way. Maybe they, they were meant to happen that way. To turn you into something else. So you can get something better than that. You know what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense. So, I know it's easy for me to say. Of course it is easy for me to say. That's why I'm saying it. But, it. but only the greatest people are great because they discipline the mind. Okay? So, guys, you need to understand that your mind is a powerful thing. Your mind is your body's. If it were a car, I'd say, I don't know much about cars, but it'd probably be your engine. Or your steering wheel. You know, it would actually be a whole car. Because the mind is so complicated. There was so much going on in your mind everywhere. Everywhere. So, ha. <laughs> I may not understand. I may not understand. But. But I try to understand stuff. I try to sit down and ask myself why certain things happen. I don't ask God why certain things happen because I don't want to be that inquisitive. 
But I ask myself how I let myself be in certain situations. Like, how do you get caught doing something you aren't supposed to be doing? Why are you doing something you're not supposed to be doing? What led you to do something that you weren't supposed to be doing? What made you think about doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? So we need to understand this is Africa. That we're in love. This is our land. This is this is our home. This is where we walk. This is where we once walked. This is this is this is our fourth stage. Okay? And this is how it's gonna be. Things are what we allow them to be. If you allow yourself to be treated badly, being stumped around, being pushed around by people, being, being everything you don't want to be, okay, then that's exactly what you will be because you allow that, okay? If you allow yourself to be a diligent person, you want to be that person. You're so determined. You're dedicated. You're you're always on time. You will be that. And that's exactly how you will be treated because that's what you are. Okay? So, we need to understand that sometimes the mind controls our lives. Controls who we are. Controls our perception. Controls everything. Literally controls everything. So I'm working on my first studio album, right? And I'm I'm working with I'm I'm in collaboration with a whole lot of pe other people. And it's just so interesting that I meet other people and other souls and it's just all different energies and it's just sometimes it clashes but sometimes it, it's in harmony. Sometimes we're like dolphins, we're in sync. Okay? But sometimes I sit and ask myself that I ask myself what kind of energy I bring onto people. I know I may feel as if I'm bringing good energy, good vibes. Hell yeah, let's go to a party. But what I think, what I feel, or what I think sometimes, sometimes, may not always be what is. Okay? So, it's kind of frustrating not knowing, right? Being in the dark. It's just also, it's frustrating, actually. It's not kind of frustrating. It's actually really frustrating. Because sometimes you want to know things that are hidden from you. Or things that you shouldn't know. Or things that are better not, better not known of. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we take the truth and we feel as if the truth will make us feel better. Sometimes we let go of the truth because we feel as if letting go is better. That's where the whole spin cycle and crazy thing comes in, right? Because people, some people say life is a mystery. How do you feel? Do you think that life is a mystery? Or do you think that life is a fixed plan? You're born. You go to primary. Go to, uh, uh, you just go to school. High school. College. Work. Get a husband, get kids, or get a husband first and then work. Build a family, build a home. Get grandkids, retire, and wait to die. Or is your life a spiritual journey? You're born. You learn what your name is. Because you're not born knowing who you are. You're born and people are calling you Carol all the time. And you start to realize that, oh, I'm actually Carol, you know? You learn how to spell your name. Your teacher teaches you how to spell your name, or your mother, your father, your parents, whatever. And then... I'm sorry. You get to know who you are. And then you learn stuff like, this is really unnecessary for me to add, but I felt the need to add it because 
I just feel I need to add it. You start to learn the color of your skin. You start to learn this. You start to learn the texture of your hair. You start to learn this too. You start to learn your IQ. Okay? You start to learn if you're dumb, if you're smart, if you're an average student, or if you actually have to go to to another school, you know, a special school. You start to learn people. Oh, this person is deceiving. Oh, that person is good for me. That person gives me good advice, and uh, I'm not so sure about this person. You learn stuff, right? And then you go, you're hurt. This person stole your idea and this hurts you, right? You learn from that. This person cheated on you and this hurts you, right? You learn from that. So, the next time you have an idea, instead of preaching it to everyone, you implement it, right? That's how you evolved. And therefore, that's how your blessings manifest. Oh, this person cheated on me. Man, screw him. I am so going to find someone better. Someone that's not going to cheat on me. Be loyal and always be true to me. And he will love me and respect me. Okay? So the next guy that comes your way or the next guy you're in a time with, you start to actually get to know better. And you start asking him questions like, Who are you? Where are you from? You start asking questions, you get in depth, you, you start, you're cautious at first until he actually proves himself. And then, that's when you you start learning how to trust. And that's when you actually make him your boyfriend. And it's, that's how you evolved. You found someone better than your last person. Okay? So, I mean, I could sit all night and talk about this. Seriously. But I have to go. But just keep this in your mind. And think about this. I love you all. And I love myself.